Hi, my name is Bruce Twido. I'm the director of engineering for Verdium Corporation. I put together this video to talk about how to awaken PCs from a sleep or an off power state, even in networks where network security has been implemented. First, let's get a few terms out of our way. Network security is often referred to as PNAC, or Port-Based Network Access Control. Uh, there's also a term that gets thrown around related to network security, that's 802.1x. What that is, is a standard for how to do network security that makes it so that multiple vendors can interoperate in environments where network security is used. Another term, WOL, Wake on LAN, or Magic Packet, is used to describe the technologies uh, in order to awaken a PC from signals on the network. So let's talk a little bit about network access control. It's, it's possible with, uh, with no network access control to control what devices are allowed access to network resources and also to control and or, I should say, to control who can access network resources based upon their login. Network security is useful in all sorts of environments. For example, in a corporation, uh, may have implemented network security so that an HR person when they log in are able to access HR systems, email and so forth. Maybe a person in the engineering department is able to access the build systems, software systems, uh, test networks and so forth that other people are not able to access. Accounting, maybe customer and business systems and so forth. A training lab could be configured so that when an employee plugs in their computer or logs in with their account that they're able to get their normal network resources like email or file servers or printers or what have you. But a training account or a training PC can be configured to be on a network with very limited access. In a bank branch you could imagine that uh, there's a network interface right in the wall and some sophisticated hacker might be able to build a little tiny device that would plug into that network interface and sniff track of traffic on the network and perhaps gather information that they shouldn't be able to get. A bank branch that implemented port-based network access control could configure their computers or their accounts so that only authorized and known computers are able to access the network. In a school, Computers uh, that are lo that are either owned by the staff or uh, or where staff logs in are able to access staff resources like security, uh, uh, student information, grades, and so forth. Students might be able to access training labs and things like that, but a guest computer might only have access to the internet. Port-based network access control is great for network managers because it allows them to configure their network in a single way but have the flexibility for determining what kind of resources uh, systems are able to access based upon information about them, either what type they are or a login account. It can either be even be configured to only allow computers in access to the network if there's a recent virus scan that's been run, maybe the security patches are up to date, or any one of a number of other configurations. Let's talk a little bit about how to wake up a PC. Any PC can be awakened, or generally most PCs have the capability to be awakened from a network signal called a wake on LAN or magic packet. Each computer has its own special magic packet that turns it on. And wake on LAN is a really great technology. Surveyor uses it, but we find that, uh, that wake on LAN has a really severe limitation that it's only, uh, it needs to be broadcast uh, across a network. And in most enterprise network environments, they've configured networks so this kind of special broadcast of the Wake on LAN packet can't pass from network to network to network. Surveyor takes care of this problem by automatically selecting uh, one PC or two PCs in each network. We call them Wake on WAN proxies. And their job is to send the network broadcast of this Wake on LAN packet to the machine that we're trying to wake up. So in an example, if somebody, maybe, uh, maybe an administrator, wants to wake up a PC that's asleep or off, um, or maybe something like Microsoft System Center needs to apply new software or software updates or patches to it, System Center can be configured to automatically integrate with the Surveyor server to wake up machines only when they're needed. So we'll go through an example where the Surveyor server wants to awaken this PC3 who's sleeping. When it's asked to awaken it, it says to itself, that PC last talked to me from the network 10.6.6. .10, so I'm going to ask the Wake on WAN proxy for that network to awaken the machine. The server says, hey, Wake on WAN proxy, wake the machine up with this MAC address of 333333. That's PC3's network level address. 
PC1 does a job that Surveyor Server asks it to do. Any device running a Surveyor agent is able to wait, function as a wake on WAN proxy. PC1 broadcasts it, hey, everything on my network, wake up, or with a, with a particular MAC address, wake up. PC3 hears that signal on the network, wakes up, turns on from whatever state it's in. In an 802.1x secured network, a PC, when it falls asleep, is moved to a different network, an unauthorized network. When it turns back on again, it can be moved to an authorized network, but what happens when the surveyor server tries to wake it up uh, without special conf without configuration um, is that it still thinks it talked to it last on network 10.6.6. .6. So it's going to ask the, w the wake on land proxy for that system in order to, to wake it up. But that broadcast from that system doesn't reach PC3 because it's moved to a different network. With the new version of surveyor, you're able to configure, as in this example here, that network 10.6.6 .6 .6 when systems are on that network, that uh, we should try and awaken them on a different network. This is the number of the of the unauthorized network. What happens when you configure Surveyor this way is that the Surveyor server says now, okay, I'm asked to wake up PC3. It last talked to me from IP address 10.6.6. .6. So I'll ask the wake on WAN proxy to send a signal to awaken it. I also know that if it fell asleep, that it's on network 10.50.50. .50. So I'm going to send a special subnet directed wake on LAN packet to wake that system up. PC3 will see that wake on LAN packet turn on. Typically it'll be configured so that it can join the authorized network again so that the maybe the, the uh, patching or software update system is, order, is able to do its work. And then of course once the work is done, Surveyor can be configured to let the PC fall back asleep and save energy. Surveyor is also able to uh, support where there's no wake on WAN proxies for a network. So that if you've implemented a network that allows subnet uh, directed broadcast forwarding of these wake on WAN packets, that you don't need to maintain wake on WAN proxies. In this example, we've configured Surveyor to uh, send uh, wake up packets to two different broadcast networks, 10.6.6 .6 and 10.50.50. .50. When configured this way, the Surveyor will say, Aha, uh -huh. I've been asked to awaken PC3. It talked to me from IP or network 10.6.6. .6. There's no wake on WAN proxy on that network, but I know that I should send a wake on LAN broadcast to both network 10.50.50 .50 and 10.6.6. .6. The result is the PC will wake up when we expect. So other things you should be aware of are, um, are that a network, of course, needs to be configured to allow subnet directed broadcasts. Any network with uh, sophisticated enough network management to implement uh, 802.1x network security will find the configuration for this quite straightforward. We also recommend that uh, organizations limit the number of uh, the machine that can broadcast these special subnet directed wake on man packets to just the surveyor server so that other systems in the network aren't able to send this packet, which can cause network troubles. Um, if it's not constrained or if it's used by a hacker in order to, to try and do a denial of service attack or some such thing on the network. <coughs> to find more information about Wake on LAN, or I'm sorry, to, uh, about network security, Wikipedia has some great de beginning descriptions and references to other articles for uh, both Wake on WAN and port-based network access control. Look up the keyword 802.1x on Wikipedia and it will give you pointers to where you need to go. And finally, Verdium is always happy to help customers answer questions about these and other similar technologies. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please contact us if you have any further questions. And uh, I hope you have a great day.